always hunt with my kids, I, uh, my two sons. And there's a real possibility to build up that tie, to pass on traditions and to, uh, to share emotions with them. My name is Olivier, I'm originally from Belgium, living in Switzerland and hunting in Austria. I'm Henry, I'm 10 years old and I love to go with my brother to hunt and my father. Hello, I'm Maximilian, I'm 16 years old and I like to go into the nature. So the dog over here, he's called Toulouse. Hey yeah, Toulouse! So he's a duck owner. So uh, the four of us, we, uh, we regularly go hunting together. Some people think we're crazy because I, uh, chances are limited I, uh, because we uh, were the four of us. On the other hand, we are uh, very successful in what we do and when we're successful, we, uh, we share it together. So this week, Toulouse had uh, one of the legs of a deer and he enjoyed it for three days, so uh, he also gets his reward. Hunting is I, uh, the, the passion, the uh, the emotions, and everything around it. I, uh, it's not only about shooting; it's really the the whole environment around it, where you can really I, uh, live your emotions in nature. So I always had an interest for uh, for nature. I was uh, with the Boy Scouts. I was always in nature, and uh, my interest continued to uh, to grow over the uh, over the years. And then at a certain age, I decided to do my hunting license. I have a pretty uh, active life and when I come into nature I have the possibility to calm down completely. Nature really gives us a lot of things and uh, when you are hunting you're constantly in nature and you see how, uh, how nature is behaving and you get back to the roots. I'm hunting over here deer, chamois and uh, roebox and um, what does it take really to be a good hunter is really ethics and common sense. You need to have the respect for the nature, so whatever you take, you give back in a different format and that is something that I live on a daily basis. The way we give back to nature is really um, the way we handle it. So we are there to, uh, to build up, to, uh, to help animals during winter. So the winter months here in the mountains are very long. So during the winter months we are helping them to, uh, to overcome the hard periods by building infrastructure, uh, giving them food first of all, Second of all, if we look in, uh, in summer, we make sure that uh, we guarantee their, uh, the, the peacefulness uh, in their environment so that they, uh, they can live uh, the way they want to live. And beside this, I, uh, we regulate nature in the way nature was actually uh, built for. A lot of the animals don't have natural predators anymore and that's why we help I, uh, regulate the populations in, uh, in a sustainable way. the agenda from the 1st of January till the end of the year, the 31st of December. And there are activities like feeding the animals during the winter. We have a snow scooter where Henry can drive or he had his first driving license. True or not? It was super clear. Yeah. In summer we built I, uh, the purchase. We, uh, we really I, uh, go for barbecues. We make syrups. I, uh, we go really for the nature experience. And most of the times people are looking at Netflix, they're playing games, etc. And I hope that I can convince my sons, and I think I convinced you already, that there's not only uh, the modern world, but also uh, the hunting world that offers much more and much more peace. I don't know what you think about it. Um, yes, I like it because it's very calm and relaxing and uh, we can learn a lot about nature and we have to gather good memories. Patience is for us, I, uh, so when we go sitting, I, uh, you sit for one hour to four hours to five hours. And when you're in that age, it's, uh, it's very difficult, or you're even in my age, you want to have adrenaline, you want to have different types of things. But, uh, but in reality, the patience is the thing that we learn in nature. You relax, you get calm, you get quiet. 
So where people think hunting is about adrenaline, it's also giving peace to a person because you wait and you just enjoy nature. So you always find something new to look at. In the morning when I get up and I go out, I smell the good nature. Um, I like it um, to build Hochsitzen and look how the rain are playing. And with Henry specifically, the first time he, uh, he was there when we shot a, a deer and where uh, we were working till the middle of the night to bring it down. The, uh, the passion he had I, uh, to help and, uh, and that bond we had. So those, those are moments that you can share with your kids when you are hunting. And those are things you can never, never replace or duplicate in your life. And those are the things that make our relationship also very special. Not only father's sons, but also the hunting part. But what I can say 100% is that hunting is not just about uh, taking lives and killing animals. It's really an experience. And when you hear people talking about hunting, they always state uh, there are big, uh, big mistakes, and that's true. Some hunters make mistakes, but the majority of the hunters, uh, they really live for ethics. They want to help nature, and they really invest a lot of time uh, in the nature. And that's what most people don't read, or they don't see, or we don't communicate around it that we would get up early morning on a winter day where everybody likes to lay in bed and we go out in the nature to help nature and to, uh, I saw to, to do activities like feeding animals or checking on nature if everything is okay. And that is what, uh, what hunting is. Most of the times you just read the press articles and when there's a press article there's a really negative connotation. But what I would invite everyone to do is go and join once a hunter to see what work they do. Go and help ones building a perch or helping a farmer building a fence or do other stuff because there you will first of all understand what we mean by being connected to nature, being connected to the, to the persons and being true to yourself because that's what we live for. Hunting, if I can pass on a message to my kids and to, uh, to the future generations, it's really all about uh, being true, being real. We are living in a digitized world, I am part of it. And what I see is that we lost the connection really to, uh, to full nature. Uh, people don't understand anymore what it is to have uh, nature around. So when you, uh, when you look at it, I, uh, you really have the possibility to connect with your kids, to connect with, uh, with nature, pass on traditions, pass on uh, a different way of living. We speak about uh, vegetarian food, we speak about respect of nature, we speak about many other things, but in reality, are we really doing it? And by hunting, you have the possibility to build up this connection and to pass on those values to your kids. So traditions, values and being true, that's what I'm hunting for and that's what I would like to pass on to my kids.